Hello guys, welcome to the year 9th session of the API.ai tutorials for beginner. In this session we will create the webhook using the python. For this I am already installed the python and flask 2. I will use the flask for creating the API. Here is a simple file that I was created. In this file I am going to create a root app.root within the parenthesis write the slash kelsey which will listen for the push method method equal to post define the kelsey request equal to request dot get underscore json write silent equal to true force equal to true and obtain the result from the request for that write the uh, req dot get result and obtain the our both parameter for that write the uh, num1 equal to result dot get parameters dot get num1 and we need to convert it to the uh, integer for that write the uh, int Copy for the uh, number 22. After this, create a variable named speech which contain the uh, text message. For that, write the uh, sum of 0 and 1 is two dot format within that we need to pass the uh, parameter it will be uh, num1 num2 and the uh, sum of num1 and num2 after this create a variable of the uh, response which contain the uh, speech speech and the uh, display text again it contain the uh, speech and convert it to the uh, json for that write the uh, res equal to json dot dumb and within that we need to pass the uh, response and uh, intent will be the uh, for r equal to make response and pass the our uh, response which contain the adjacent data and uh, change the uh, content type of the uh, r for that write the r dot header and content type equal to application for slash json and return r at the end save it and now i am going to test in the uh, local environment for that open the uh, command prompt our app is uh, starting on the uh, port number 5300 copy the url and paste in the uh, postman write the uh, kelsey and change to the uh, post request add the uh, body of the uh, type json paste the uh, example and click on the uh, send here we got the uh, our answer after this we need to deploy the app on the google cloud for this we need to create the uh, two additional file 
the first is the uh, app.yaml file which we are created in previous session 2 let's switch to the uh, folder create a new file name app.yaml open it with the uh, sublime here we need to write the uh, runtime will be the uh, python environment will be the uh, flex entry point will be g unicorn hyphen b and port number and specify the uh, runtime config and specify the uh, python version 3 save it and create a new file name requirements.txt in which we need to specify the all the required extension with the uh, version we require the uh, flask of the uh, 0 0.101 and G unicorn with the uh, 19.6.0 save both file and now I am going to open the uh, new command prompt from which we will perform the deployment for this we need to write the uh, G cloud in it uh, we need to reinitialize the uh, configuration so run use the uh, same account and same project and now I am going to write the uh, G cloud app deploy it will ask to verify the uh, services where we are going to deploy it was the same so I am going to write the Y after some time it got the uh, success message use the uh, browse command to open the our app in the uh, browser for that write the uh, G cloud app browse and open the uh, Kelsey root we got the uh, method is not allowed because it was a post method and we are sending the uh, get request from the uh, browser let's send via the uh, postman Here we got the uh, same output. Let update it with the uh, current fulfillment. Save it and send the uh, same request. And here we got the uh, sum of 10 and 20 is uh, 30. And now we will test with the another value sum of 90 and 70. We got the uh, 160, which is a uh, right answer. Let's see what we are learning this session. First of all, we are created the uh, route in the uh, our Python file in which we perform the addition of those two numbers and return it as a JSON. Then we are created the app.yml file in which we are specify the uh, PHP as a runtime and uh, specify the uh, three as a Python version. We have also created the requirement.txt file in which we have specified the uh, flask and the uh, G unicorn. And like the uh, previous session, we have used the uh, G cloud deploy command to deploy the our application. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me.